right, so for today's video, we're just going to get into it, straight into it. So the relationship between a platoon leader and a platoon sergeant is one of the biggest things in the United States Army today. Um, what do I mean by that? So as a platoon leader, you're going to be a second lieutenant or a first lieutenant. And you're going to be in charge of this platoon, the person at the very top. But don't get it twisted. Your platoon sergeant is right there on the same level as you. Typically, if you're a platoon leader that has no prior experience or no prior service, you were not enlisted, um, that platoon sergeant is going to have a wealth of knowledge, typically 10 to 15 years or more um, compared to you. So it's about how do you find that fine balance with your platoon sergeant where you don't step on his or her toes? And how does that platoon sergeant find that fine balance so they don't step on your toes? Um, so the duties of a platoon sergeant. They are entrusted by that company commander to actually train and mentor and guide you as a young platoon leader. Because it's going to be the first time that that lieutenant is going to actually be working with a senior non-commissioned officer. Typically a sergeant first class, but it um, depends. You might have a staff sergeant to where, you know, they still have that experience. But typically a sergeant first class, an E7, is going to be your platoon sergeant. And they're in charge of the health, the welfare um, for the soldiers, right? So what do I mean by health and welfare? So making sure the soldiers have good barracks, making sure their living standards are not terrible, and making sure that they get things fixed when it comes to work orders, making sure that the soldiers are actually being cared for. Because in today's society, there's sometimes where people say that they care for people when they're leaders, but they don't know how to take care of them. So that means knowing your soldiers, knowing them by name, knowing um, if they're married, if they're not married, if they have kids, knowing when it's their birthday, knowing them as a human being so you can tell when they need someone to talk to or just, hey, man, let's go get uh, let's go get some lunch and let's talk about it. Or just, hey, let's get some lunch. And then you get lunch with them and you talk about it and you, you establish these relationships. So that, that's how you can really tell if you have a phenomenal platoon sergeant. If you don't have to worry about your soldier's morale. But if you see the soldier's morale, okay, I'm, I'm getting off key right now. But that is the, uh, a few of the um, duties for a platoon sergeant. Some more is execution, sustainment. So when I'm talking about sustainment, I'm talking about making sure that you guys have bullets, right? You guys have food. Make sure you guys have fuel. Anything that you need in order to sustain yourself your platoon, when it comes to combat, when it comes to just training anywhere, your platoon sergeant is the point of contact for that, okay? So as a platoon leader, you need to realize that you need to know everything that is going on in your platoon. And you know, that that, that means sustainment, but that means not dipping your toes in your platoon sergeant's area, right? So when you sit down with your platoon sergeant and you guys have the discussion um, within 30 days, and I'm not talking about a counseling, but a real discussion since you don't want to just say, I'm going to counsel my platoon sergeant, right? Have that discussion on a memorandum for record. Um, lay out what your priorities um, for that platoon are, like your main priorities you want to accomplish while you're platoon leader. Lay out what you want and expect from your platoon sergeant so there is no, I didn't know, okay? Um, and it's in writing. Make sure that y'all are on the same sheet of music, okay? Now, we're going to step back from the discussion piece, and we're going to go to if the platoon sergeant says something, and then the soldier's like, well, the platoon sergeant said this, that's when you're like, all right, Roger. And then, you know, you talk to the platoon sergeant on the side, or the platoon sergeant talks to you, and you guys come up with that game plan, okay? This goes back to if you're going out to the field for training, if you're um, going to be executing an ACFT and your platoon is in charge, this comes to you two sitting down together and discussing from start to finish what is going to happen. Same thing with not order. What situation? What's the mission? Execution, sustainment, command and control. So situation, mission, execution, and command and control. This is one of those huge things that people forget whenever they start planning not including their platoon sergeant or not including the PL. So then soldiers are like getting pulled left and right. And it's happened to me before. It's probably going to happen to you, but it's about coming back to the beginning, coming back to yeah the, the beginning and realizing that you guys have to be on the same sheet of music because your soldiers will pick up on that. So it's, it's fairly simple. Just if you have a training schedule or anything, sit down with a notebook. What are we doing? What do we need to accomplish? By per, per the commander. How are we going to execute this? The timelines, where are people going to be? 
sustainment. What do we need in order to be out there? Do we need water? Do we need shade? Do we need a heater? Do we need jackets for um what um for cold weather? Um, command and control. Who's going to be in charge? So am I actually going to physically be there, or is my platoon sergeant going to be the only person there? Is the squad leader going to be in charge of this range, or blah blah blah? So it's 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 those little small details that people fail to realize um, when they're a platoon leader because or platoon sergeant. Because so much is going on. As a platoon, you got to remember you have all these other echelons above you. The company needs things from you. The battalion needs things from you. The brigade needs things from you. And so on. So it's really just realizing that you must plan with your battle buddy, okay? Be on the same sheet of music. I cannot stress this enough, okay? Um, platoon leader, you were there to be a visionary, right? Um, and to plan. But when I say visionary, I'm not saying you need to come up with all the hot shit ideas and be the good idea fairy. As I, I Honestly, yeah, the good idea fairy. Do not be the good idea fairy. I'm telling you right now, do not be that lieutenant. It's okay to have great ideas um, and a lot of ideas, but this is when you bring in your platoon sergeant and you guys talk, or the platoon sergeant, you bring in your PL if you have ideas too, and y'all talk about the positives and the negatives with these ideas. Is it gonna hurt the soldiers? Is it gonna hinder the soldiers? Or will it make their lives better? And will it make y'all's lives better in turn? So you're only going to be able to do a few things as a platoon leader, like to 100% standard. When I say huge, um, huge milestones, huge projects. So do not be the good idea fair. Do not say we're gonna do all this stuff, all this stuff, and your soldiers are leaving at 20, 100, literally five to six months in a row, okay? It's about managing these different levels. Um, the next thing is don't let the soldiers and your leaders, your squad leaders and your team leaders, don't let them control you or your platoon sergeant. So what do I mean by this? Um, don't let them play mommy and daddy. Don't let them say, well, platoon sergeant said this, like I said earlier, because um, they, they will do that if they know that you guys are not on the same sheet of music. But if you have really phenomenal squad leaders or even team leaders, they'll be like, hey, sir, ma'am. Like, I don't know what the F is going on, but you and the platoon sergeant need to be on the same level. I'm getting pulled left and right. That is what you do not want to happen. You do not want your leaders, and you know, I've suffered from it before. You do not want your leaders mad at you and the platoon sergeant because you guys can't get your lives together and come up with a plan together. That, that, that's, that's really the key here, okay? I, I know as a lieutenant, a lot of you guys are gonna be nervous. Some will be scared. Um, some will be terrified, to be honest meeting your platoon sergeant for the first time, but you just need to realize that you were there to plan. You were there to make sure your soldiers are are taken care of um, all around, and that you are the head honcho for that platoon. Don't get it twisted, though, and think your platoon sergeant is not your battle buddy and on your level, because if you can extract the wealth and the knowledge from your platoon sergeant, you will be a phenomenal leader. Um, the higher you go up. Platoon sergeants, if you mentor and guide your platoon leaders, these young lieutenants, you will be light years ahead of your peers. And I know this is nothing new that I'm telling you guys. And I know there's going to be times where you have a lieutenant or you have a platoon sergeant and they're not the best. Or they're not, they're, they're even under average. And you know, you're just going to have to keep on pushing and try for your soldiers, okay? That, that's one of the huge things that I learned. Um, with being a platoon leader and just being a leader in general. You do not want your soldiers to suffer, okay? Um, when it comes to your platoon sergeant, make sure that you guys are planning things for um, the soldiers, all right? Like getting together, making it more of a family um, environment. Uh, all right, so this is going to conclude this video for today. Um, hit me up in the comment section if you have any comments about your experiences with being a platoon leader or a platoon sergeant. Um, anything else you want me to add if you want me to do a part two to this video. But in the description, you can find my Instagram, my Twitter. You can hit me up on Clubhouse. Um, any questions you guys have, I, I'm not afraid to answer, and I'll let you know if I do not know, okay? With that being said, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. No matter where you are in this world, hey, remember, if you're going through dark times right now, someone else has been there, and they made it through those dark times, and now they're smiling. Or they might be smiling going through the dark times. So let that be a lesson, to smile 
And you know, everything's going to be all right eventually. That being said, I'm out. <laughs>